Hi guys, Ethereal Awakening here, giving some readings. I haven't done this for a while. I wasn't going to do readings, but something prompted me tonight to do some. So being a faithful servant of my intuition, I jumped on to do some, um, giving messages where they might, might be of assistance. Uh, this message is for Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Energy is fluid. I could be speaking to a Libra directly or a cross watcher checking in on a Libra. Use your intuition and put yourself where your your position is. Uh, time is kind of irrelevant. It could be something that's already happened, something that's happening, or something that's going to happen. Again, using that intuition will best fit you in where you need to. And if it doesn't resonate at all, message isn't for you. This is a general reading. There's a lot of Libras out there. So without further ado, let's see what messages come through for Libra. Messages for Libra. Messages for Libra. Messages for Libra. Messages for Libra. Come on. Libra. Where are you at, Libra? All right. We'll go there. All right. First card out is the Five of Rods. So. Libra, I want to say that there's some arguing, bickering, fighting going on around you. This is you amongst friends, amongst co-workers, family members. It could be, you know, your love, your, your romantic interest. Um, but there's definitely some conflict going on around you right now. I'm sorry to hear that. The other energy is coming through is the star card. So you could be dealing with an Aquarius, um, Libra, or you could be dealing with uh, an energy of your, your, this could be you, just wanting some healing. You've got hope for things to get better. You're seeing the bright side of things even amidst the chaos. So somebody in, in, in the in the fighting, in the turmoil, in the confusion, is at least seeing a silver lining. In the heart space, I've got the Knight of Cups. So with this conflict that's being felt strongly on one party while the healing and, and, and resolution is being felt on the other, the, the conflict, the conflicted party, let's just call them that way, um, it seems like they're ready for a truce. Um, they might be having a hard time f figuring out how. And that could cause conflict. That there's been conflict, I want it resolved, how do I do that? Because, you know, while the night is got a, the, you know, the love offer, the conflict can come from what is in that cup. It, is, this, is it going to be enough? And the other... We've got the Nine of Swords with that healing star card energy. So this is definitely something that while if, if I was so obsessed with the situation and everything that was going on, the con, you know, the, the bickering, the fighting, and the arguing, it would probably cause me to have some sleepless nights and some, some anxiety about how to move this forward. And with one party not sure how to go about apologizing or, or bringing in that, you know, the, all the hope in the world of things getting better can s still just be a part of the anxiety. I want things to be better, but how, you know? It, 
it's it's not so much about apologizing but you know changing behavior and that can cause a lot of mental agony to a person who who sees the good in someone who is confused and conflicted and you know isn't sure isn't sure how to bring in that apology isn't sure how to how to change the behavior i can say a sorry million a million times but you know if my behavior doesn't change am i really sorry and i think that's the big lesson that this other person is trying to grapple with possible outcome i've got the high priestess as the first so there's definitely uh, on your part you feel like you've said enough you've you've talked enough you you've exhausted all of your energy and effort into you know it's time for action and this is the the, the deep knowing like we can pretend like i don't know how to apologize or change my behavior but at the end of the day is it really that i don't know how or is it that i don't want to because it feels like an insurmountable you know task to change the behavior that I've had since, you know, childhood. You know, this is how my parents acted, you know. It it can. It, it's a daunting task. And I think that with the high priestess coming out for the conflicted, unsure night, it, it's, this person knows. They know. Um, sitting on the fence and, and doing the, not, not talking about things, obviously isn't getting things resolved, which would definitely also lead into that uh, the, the nine of swords energy where you know you just feel so anxious and unsure uh, of how to move forward with this healing because this other person is kind of sitting in a in a not non-responsive mode but they know they know what to do they know what to say it's i think there's some fear there also and the Six of Cups is the other energy uh, in the possible outcome. So there's definitely a come around. You know, this is possibly breaking the ice with memories of when times were better and just remembering from your childhood how things were resolved or how you've resolved things and, and using those as suggestions for this person because it doesn't seem like to me there there's this need for separation or that either one of you want to end things but other than the fighting and the conflict the conflict that's what wants to be ended so i think with a little bit of you know the reminiscing into your own child ch you know childhoods both of you where that might you know pull into focus their resistance but also your ability to help and say well this is a way we could go about you know changing changing the way you react to this or or, or bringing up triggers that you know certain things that maybe this other person isn't really a, able to see clearly um because again although we know how to change our behavior we may not we know that we need to change our behavior we may not know what steps to take exactly how to do that because we're not presented in every single moment with what it is precisely that needs to be changed if that makes sense we don't know what's triggering us until we're triggered and in that moment everybody's tensions are high and emotions are everywhere so Instead, it, it could just be a moment of recollect for the both of you that helps you kind of, you know, stutter step into healing and, and, you know, good things to come. Where the come around is, you know, when we both look at each other as, you know, this, the childlike innocence of nobody wants to hurt the other. If that's the case, then we can heal through this. It just takes the want. Underneath the deck, I like to call this the gift is the seven of pentacles so i definitely want to say that there's some patience that's needed here uh libra definite looking into like i said with that six of cups energy it's that you know where the six of cups has that emotional kind of um supportive nostalgic energy to it the seven of pentacles is looking into the past and really taking heed of what's going to blossom and what no longer serves us where we need to make you know some areas of adjustment and 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 really just sitting okay in a patient 
waiting, you know, waiting area. Like this isn't going to be an overnight job. We're going to have to take some time and effort and energy into really kind of sifting through each thing that we want to change about each other, you know, about the other, about ourselves and work together to accomplish that. But that when you do that, when you take that much patience, energy, energy, effort, patience, energy, effort, love and time into doing something, you're promised a good uh, a good harvest, a good crop. You're promised something that looks like all those cups with the flowers in them. So, Libra, this was your message, and I hope it helped. Talk to you later. Bye.